Our next topic is finite state machines. So just from that name, we know we're going to be working with finite, nothing infinite, um, and a state machine. That means it's a machine that has different states. So let's just talk about these. I'm going to show you several different pictures, and we'll talk about these pictures as we go. And that's how finite states machines are often depicted using a picture. So this particular one has three states, and you see the states are that they're in the circle and they're labeled. So here's S0, S1, and S2, and those are the three states in this machine. The other thing we see here are transitions. So these arrows that take us, show us how to get from one state to another, or an arrow that shows us that we stay on that state. Now, on these transitions are labels, and the labels indicate the input value. So here's a one. So the way that this works is if you're at state zero and you get an input one, then you're going to transition to S1. If you're at state zero and you get an input of zero, you're going to stay at state S0. And that's how it transitions. So we have in this particular um, finite state machine, we have the option of the inputs are all either zero or one. And at each state, we can transition from one state to another. Another thing that is on a finite state machine is an indication of where you start. And this is just pointing at the start state. It's like, here, always start at this state. And that's really what it's saying. You start at this state. That's the start state. So let's look at another one. So this one has three states as well, right? They're the circles with a label on them. These states are, have different labels, Q0, Q1, Q2. This state, this finite state machine has a start state, which is Q0. It has transitions, right? Transitions based on inputs. Again, these are inputs of one and zero. Here's another one. This one has three states. Now don't think that they're gonna all have three states, but these ones do. S, Q1, and Q2. Now notice that the transitions are labeled with A and B. So the input values for this finite state machine are A and B, and there's our start state. Now notice on some of these, they use the word start with an arrow. Here, it's just a dot with an arrow. And in fact, on this next one, it's just an arrow that has no, you know, just comes from nowhere. So here it's just saying, hey, here it is. Here's the start state um, with that arrow. This one has two states, S1 and S2. What are the input values in this one? zeros or ones. Uh, another thing that we're seeing is that some of them have this double circle. So a state with a double circle means this is an accepting state. And what it's kind of like saying this is the end. When you get the pattern right, this is the end of the pattern. And not all finite mach state machines are trying to find a pattern. And so they may or may not have this accepting state. So um, we always start at S1 on this one. And then if we get a zero, we go to S2. If we get a one, we go to stay in S2. If we get another zero, we go back to S1. And so we could have a series of inputs where we end on S1. That means that is a, a pattern that works, a set of inputs that work. If we end up on S2, it's not an accepting pattern. So, oh, that series doesn't work. Here's one that has three, Q0, Q1, and Q2. And we see that they don't have to all be drawn in a line. This one has A and B. Um, notice that going from Q2 to Q1, it could be either A or B. So if you're in the state Q2 and you get an A, you're gonna go to Q1. If you're at Q2 and you get a B for the next input, you're also gonna go to Q1. So both in that case, um, both of those inputs take you there. Here's one that has three states. Again, just drawn a little bit different. Can you find the start state on this one? Sure enough, there it is. There's that arrow just saying, hey, start here. Um, this one is different because notice that the transition, remember when we had two, uh, where, let's go back one. Oops. Oh no, it was this one. A comma B. That really says A, go here on A or go here when you get a B as input. These ones mean something different. 
So this one means this is the transition. This one has output. So when you're at S2 and you get a 1, you're going to go to S1, but you're going to get an output of 0. So when you have this kind of combination, it's showing you the first value is the input and the second value is the output that happens on this transition.